Hokkien, a Min Nan variety of Chinese spoken in southeastern China, Taiwan and Southeast Asia, does not have a unitary standardized writing system, in comparison with the well-developed written forms of Cantonese and vernacular Chinese Mandarin. Since there is no official standardizing body for Hokkien except the Republic of China Ministry of Education in Taiwan, there are a wide variety of different methods of writing in vernacular Hokkien. Nevertheless, vernacular works written in the Hokkien are still commonly seen in literature, film, performing arts and music. History Prior to the modern era, the main written language of China was classical Chinese, which has grammar and vocabulary based on Old Chinese used in ancient times. Whilst the written form of Chinese mostly remained static, the spoken varieties of Chinese diverged from Old Chinese. In the early 20th century, reformers in China saw the need for language reform and championed the development of a writing system that allowed Chinese people to write the language the same way they speak, a system called written vernacular Chinese. Because the various Mandarin Chinese dialects had the largest number of speakers amongst all varieties of Chinese, it was chosen as the basis for the vernacular standard. However, there are various differences between the spoken Chinese varieties, such as Mandarin, Cantonese and Hokkien, such as variations in vocabulary and grammatical particles, meaning that vernacular Chinese is less suited for writing texts spoken in Hokkien. Various expressions in Hokkien, as with other Chinese varieties, do not have associated Chinese characters in vernacular Chinese, meaning that some words originally could not be written. In the case of Cantonese, a vernacular system specifically for writing Cantonese was developed in Hong Kong, then a British colony. On the other hand, since Hokkien was never standardized, different people began to use various separate methods to solve the issue of Hokkien-specific words, where such words would eventually be written using either a Latin-based script, phonetically using Bopomofo, or through the use of a Chinese character chosen phonetically with no relation to the original word via meaning. Varieties of Hokkien are spoken in Fujian province in mainland China, Taiwan, Chinese communities in Malaysia, Singapore, and other Chinese expatriate communities. Initially there was no effort by the government of the Republic of China on Taiwan, nor other governments, to create a standardized Hokkien vernacular. During the initial stages of Kuomintang rule in Taiwan, the official Kuomintang language policy was to promote the use of Mandarin Chinese in everyday speech, and to discourage the use of other dialects such as Hokkien and Hakka. This was done in an attempt to promote national linguistic unity, and to promulgate a Chinese identity over that of a Taiwanese one for political reasons. Following the Taiwan localization movement, education and everyday usage of spoken and written Hokkien by local Taiwanese became more widely used. A Chinese character online dictionary for Hokkien was released in 2008 by the ROC Ministry of Education. Nevertheless, within literature circles there is still ongoing debate over which writing system should be used to write Taiwanese Hokkien, and controversy exists between the various rival systems currently used to write Hokkien. Today usage of languages remains a politicized issue in Taiwan. In Singapore, in an effort to promote Mandarin as a lingua franca amongst ethnic Chinese through the Speak Mandarin campaign, usage of other varieties such as Hokkien is discouraged. Today, whilst Taiwanese Hokkien speakers speak in their variety of Hokkien, they would officially write in vernacular Chinese for formal documents, and only use vernacular Hokkien writings during informal occasions, if at all. In Taiwan, vernacular Chinese is used for academic writings, newspaper articles and television news report headlines, whilst Hokkien writings are used in novels, songs lyrics, film subtitles, theatrical and opera scripts, and in informal communication. Writing systems Pei, H.O.G. Pei, H-O-G, Chinese, Bai Wa Zi is a Latin alphabet developed by Western missionaries working in Southeast Asia in the 19th century to write Hokkien. Pei, H-O-G allows Hokkien to be written phonetically in the Latin script, meaning that phrases specific to Hokkien can be written without having to deal with the issue of non-existent Chinese characters. Currently usage of Pei, H-O-G is restricted to some Taiwanese Christians, non-native learners of Hokkien, and native speaker enthusiasts in Taiwan. POJ remains the Taiwanese script with the richest inventory of written work, including dictionaries, textbooks, literature, and other publications in many areas. 
Pei, H-O-G can also be used along with Chinese characters in a mixed script called Han Lo, where words specific to Hokkien are written in Pei, H-O-G, and words with associated characters written in Han characters. Sample mixed orthography text, Fan Tiang Gong Wo Ko Hap It Hotel E Kanting Shi 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 E Chai Chi Wo Jong Bei Te Ku Shui Kuo E Suo Zai I Bei Song Wo Ku Wo Ka Ju Ju A Ma Wu Bei A Chai Ji Wo E Di Ji Dian Wa Fan Jong Ruo Yu Yuan Ju Wei Ko Zai Shang Wei I Jong Ren Hai Mang Mang Wo Ruo Wu Ti Hit Jian Tiao Wu Chong Gay I Bei Ku Toh Wei Cho Wo Ju Shi and Ni M, Chia Zhang Shi Yuan, Wo Zui Shi and Ni Ying Shin Gan Nei Ji Ying Kap I Z Shi Han Dao J Shi Yi Qian Lian, Mian Chan Wu Hai Jian Dan Ju Sha. Bopomofo Bopomofo is another script used in Taiwanese Hokkien writings. It is commonly used in Taiwanese literature to represent Hokkien specific grammatical particles, along with Chinese characters, and can also be used to gloss Chinese characters with their Hokkien readings. Sample text Wo Shang Li Shui A. I am like the fish that has left the water, with A, a being used as a replacement for T. E. Taiwanese Kana during the period of Taiwan under Japanese rule, a kana-based system was introduced to gloss Hokkien writing in Chinese characters, as well writing as other languages of Taiwan. Chinese characters Writing Hokkien using Chinese characters is a common method of writing in Taiwanese literature. However, there are various problems relating to the use of Chinese characters to write vernacular Hokkien, and in many cases Chinese characters are used alongside other scripts, such as Bopomofo or POJ. The problem with using only Chinese characters to write Min Nan is that there are many morphemes estimated to be around 15% of running text, which are not definitively associated with a particular character. Various strategies have been developed to deal with the issue, including researching and reviving the etymologically correct Chinese character from ancient Chinese texts, and classical Chinese, creating new characters, allocating Chinese characters used in written Mandarin with similar meanings, but dissimilar etymology, to represent the missing characters, or using romanization for the missing 15%. In many cases, when writing Hokkien using Chinese characters phonetically, the use of characters is entirely unrelated to the original meaning of the phrase. While most Hokkien morphemes have standard designated characters, they are not always etymologically correct or phono-semantic. Similar sounding, similar meaning or rare characters are commonly borrowed or substituted to represent a particular morpheme. In addition, there may be many different ways to write a specific Hokkien phrase using Chinese characters. Wanhua district in Taipei is commonly written as Wanhua in Chinese, literally, 10,000 flowers. However, the original meaning of the location name, pronounced Bang Ka in Taiwanese Hokkien, old character form Meng Sha, is a rendering of a non Chinese indigenous name for boat. Along with location names, common words also have orthography problems due to non standardization. Chitho or Titho, lit. Play around is commonly written as G2, however, neither characters have anything to do with the act of playing. The characters mean near and cunning, deceitful. Within Robert Cheng's publication of a Han character edition of the Taiwanese Hokkien novella Ko Ie Su Jin, lit. Beloved Enemy, by Lai Jinsheng, the word LO circumflex MOA, meaning gangster. And cognate with vernacular Chinese Liuming, Lumang is transcribed as Lu Man. These two phonetically used characters literally translate to perch eel. Additional examples include the word for beautiful. Mei Bai is the literary form, which has the vernacular morpheme sui represented by characters such as Tuo, an obsolete character, way of vernacular reading of this character, and even Shui, transliteration of the sound sui, and tall. Gao Ko is the literary form, whose morpheme koan is zan. Common grammatical particles are not exempt. The negation particle m, not, is variously represented by wu, m or wu, among others. In other cases, characters are invented to represent a particular morpheme. A common example is the non-standard character, in, which represents the personal pronoun, they. 
In addition, some characters have multiple and unrelated pronunciations, adapted to represent Hokkien words. For example, the Hokkien word ba, meat, has been reduced to writing via ru, which has etymologically unrelated colloquial and literary readings, he, k and geo, k, respectively. In other cases, a character is borrowed to represent a morpheme with the same meaning, but a different pronunciation, the morpheme k. Low. As in kthn, g d tang. Low sugar. Has been assigned the character d, whose phonetic reading is te, by the Republic of China's Ministry of Education. Another case is the word. To eat. Chia, H, which is often transcribed in Taiwanese newspapers and media as ga, a Mandarin transliteration, sha, to approximate the Hokkien term, even though its recommended character in dictionaries is she. Victor H. Mare makes an estimate that if pure, unadulterated spoken vernacular Taiwanese were written exclusively in Chinese characters, with minimal use of Mandarin phrases, over 25% of morphemes would have no character, about 25% would have arbitrary arbitrarily selected yet more or less conventionally accepted characters that are homophones or near homophones 10% would be written using characters exclusive to hokkien and 40% would be written with characters that have the correct sound and meaning However, in more colloquial styles of Taiwanese Hokkien, the proportion of morphemes written with conventionally accepted characters would drop even lower than 40%. Moreover, unlike Cantonese, Hokkien does not have a universally accepted standardized character set. Thus, there is some variation in the characters used to express certain words and characters or can be ambiguous in meaning. In 2007, Taiwan S. Ministry of Education formulated and released a standard character set to overcome these difficulties. These standard Chinese characters for writing Taiwanese Hokkien are now taught in schools in Taiwan. When writing Hokkien in Chinese characters, some writers create new characters when they consider it impossible to use existing ones. This corresponds to similar practices in character usage in Cantonese, Vietnamese Chu Nam, Korean Hanja and Japanese Kanji. These are usually not encoded in Unicode, or the corresponding ISO, IEC 10646, universal character set, thus creating problems in computer processing. Vocabulary the following table lists a few examples displaying differences in vocabulary between vernacular Chinese based on Mandarin, and Taiwanese Hokkien written in Chinese characters. In addition, Hokkien literature can consist of phrases that are vernacular to Hokkien, as well as literary terms originating from classical Chinese. The following list of Taiwanese Hokkien words is adapted from a list by scholar Ong Iok Tech, contrasting vernacular terms with relevant literary terms. The English translations have been added by Mare. Literary and colloquial character readings Hokkien separates reading pronunciations yin from spoken pronunciations yin and explications jiashuo of Chinese characters see literary and colloquial readings of Chinese characters. The following examples in Pei, HOG show differences in readings in Taiwanese Hokkien. Status Civil Service Examination Controversy in 2003, there was a controversy in Taiwan when parts of the civil service examination for judges were written in characters used only in Hokkien. After strong objections, these questions were not used in scoring. As with the official language controversy, objections to the use of Taiwanese came not only from mainlander groups, but also Hoklo, Hakka and Aborigines. The control yuan later created a rule that only allowed standard Mandarin characters on civil service exams. According to public opinion surveys, more people support making English the second official language than do for Taiwanese. References See also Written Cantonese Vernacular Chinese Classical Chinese Taiwanese Literature Movement Comparison of Hokkien writing systems Amoy dialect 
Singaporean Hokkien Penang Hokkien